Let's go first straight to London, where we're joined via Skype by I-24 News London correspondent Jonathan Sachidati. Jonathan, I am sure you, that you are overwhelmed with joy today. <clears throat> Good morning, Yael. Yes, an exciting day for and the it, Queen and the entire nation. And the entire nation. Why no formal celebrations? Well, there was that big celebration uh, for her actual anniversary. Uh, this is really a record, more of a sort of personal moment for the Queen. And it was expected that she would celebrate this privately. But in fact, due to popular demand, uh, she's now going to give a short speech during part of her official duties today when she's travelling on that railway line, which is a newly built uh, longest railway line for some time in the country. So that's a sort of concession. Uh, but otherwise, the palace wishes to show that it's business as usual. And in fact, they've released an official picture of the Queen still hard at work uh, for today, which was taken by Mary McCartney, the daughter of former Beatles, Sir Paul McCartney. And the Daily Mail tells us very proudly that in it, uh, this image, that was taken in July. The Queen is wearing pink and white floral print day dress uh, by designer Carl Ludwig, uh, which was also worn by the monarch in Perth on the last day of her uh, tour of Australia in 2011, and a pink sapphire brooch surrounded by diamonds. Uh, but importantly, <laughs> yes. importantly I in mean, that picture, she, yes. she's still hard at work. She's there with her papers in the red box, which she receives every single day of the year except for Christmas. Wherever she is in the world, the Queen receives from government ministers, from her representatives in Commonwealth and foreign countries, information in the form of policy papers, cabinet documents, foreign office telegrams, a daily summary events in Parliament, letters and other state papers which she has to read, sometimes sign and approve, and they want to show today for the Queen, the longest reigning ever uh, Queen in this country, longest reigning monarch in this country, wow. is business as usual. Business as usual and in pink, which I have to say, that's one thing I want to hand to um, uh, uh, your Queen, Jonathan, that I, I just love the fact that she has no problems wearing shocking pink or shocking green. Um, so, but you are staying with us, Jonathan. Owen Harry, Senior Foreign Affairs Editor. Um, let's start seriously, okay? We always do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to compose myself. Just because I'm, you know, I'm you a You are not fit to be queen, you know I'm not that. fit to be queen. I'm a lowly, lowly person from the Middle East. But what I'm asking you, is the monarchy, okay, we're looking at the world falling, crumbling apart, the Queen of England. Mm -hmm. Why is there still a queen? Uh, there, first of all, because it's there. Tackled you there. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. Because, it, first of all, it's there. If an institution works and it, do, and it does work for the British people, why change? First of all. And second, look at the world um, in another uh, angle. Out of the 10 top countries in the uh, Human Development Index of the UN, seven are monarchies. Perhaps there's something there. Monarchies, but you know, it's pomp and circumstance. It's not like the queen or you know, and the kings of those countries have any form of decision. Yes, but she is still the commander of the army. There could, you could argue that there could be at some point in time a clash of uh, of uh, monarchy and parliament. It will not happen exactly uh, because of the wisdom. But still, it works. It brings money. It, bring, I was about it to brings say, money. It brings money. And it, it, it brings it brings tourists. It it is part of what makes. Britain, Britain, or England, England. It's parts of what the people think about when they think about uh, England. So it's there, and uh, why, I mean, why change it? I mean, I'm American, and you know, Americans, all they know about England is there lives the Queen. Yes. So yeah, in, in many, 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 many ways. But asking you about her reign and her monarchy, very, very solid um, uh, Emma reigning monarch, Emma Queen Elizabeth, isn't she? Yes. And she's a very smart lady. Has she it? was she was brought into it. She learned the trade, you know, and the, and the, and it is, and it's something that you have to live 24/7, 365 days a, a year. And she she grew that up. Doesn't sound hard to me. Yeah. Okay. It it, <laughs> it, it it is. When you don't have a moment privacy, when you can't marry anybody you like, when you have to, you, when you can't curse and you can't laugh and you can't do anything, that doesn't it stop is. Philip. Okay. It, it, well, yeah, putting he's that not aside. a monarch. Yeah. Uh, let's live in, apart for a moment. But it's still, uh, 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 she grew up in what was still the British Empire during the 20s when she was born. It was still uh, one-sixth uh, one of the land of the earth was ruled by Britain. 
one, uh, one way or another. Sun never set. The sun never set. And uh, the British Empire crumbled, and there was a Second World War, and she joined the army, etc., etc. And, uh, you know, d uh, during all those prime ministers, including Winston Churchill, including Thatcher, including Blair, wow. and including Cameron and, uh, and Heath and what yeah. have you, Robert and in Brown. all those years, <laughs> she, in her small or bigger way, uh, navigated the ship, she had her low moments, obviously, with the uh, fire at, uh, at the palace and, of course, the death of uh, Princess Diana. But still, today, she's got the support of, what, 80% of the population of Britain? The, those are numbers that Obama or Netanyahu Nobody or has. anybody else outside Kim Jong-un would kill for. Maybe they need to start wearing pink, but it, it's a very, very valid point. By the yes. way, I think the flip side of this, we don't really talk about it, is that uh, Prince Charles, I think, is, is like the longest reigning heir to the throne. Yes. The longest oh, wait. Jonathan, is, is that, that true? the case? I mean, yes. Well, Prince Charles has certainly had a long wait, but the <laughs> Queen shows no signs of ever abdicating. She made it very clear that when she took that vow to serve as the Queen, she meant it. And uh, the proposals or the suggestions are that as she gets older, and she's now not a, a young lady, as she gets older um, and may be less able to carry on some of her duties, other members of the royal family will step in, but not to replace her as monarch, uh, not with Prince Charles replacing her as king, but just becoming more involved in the day-to-day -day activities of the royal family than he already is. And again, the next generation, even from there, taking a bigger role. And while it is a mostly symbolic position, uh, there are very real parts to their work, of course, as we've just been discussing. So the Queen is seen uh, as an important figurehead who makes daily visits and uh, trips to different places, people and organizations bringing attention to them or showing Britain's attitude towards them. And that's also a very important part of her role. So in many ways, this uh, role of the monarch in Great Britain right. uh, is not just a historical curiosity, but also an important working job. And the royal family under the Queen's uh, leadership has in fact managed to stay very robustly uh, quite high up in people's public opinion in Great Britain despite certain controversies and down I would say uh, because they downturns. I would I would actually venture and theorize because they supply so much great um, uh, fodder for gossip shall I not yeah. only. To, to a certain they extent there is also the soap opera aspect of it uh, yeah. it sells tabloid newspapers and magazines and recently there's even been discussion uh, over photographs of the uh, young babies of, uh, right, of, of uh, Prince Kate. William because, right. you know, photographers have been taking them with long lenses, lying in wait in cars for hours and hours outside nursery schools and things like that have caused, again, more controversy about right. child safety and child security. So, uh, absolutely, there are two sides to this coin, so to speak. Uh, there is the side with the Queen's head in which she's official and the flip side where it's all uh, to do with photographs, selling magazines and gossip. And the reason we're here today, yes. She is relevant. That's the point. She's Beatrix, <clears throat> who uh, abdicated the throne, or even Juan Carlos of Spain, who abdicated in, in less favorable circumstances, uh, they were, you know, part of a curiosity, especially Beatrix in, in Benelux and Scandinavia. They are not really there. The Queen of England still is. It's the personality, it's the institution, it's the history, all, you know, all those things that we think about, Richard the Lionheart and Henry VIII and what have you. By the way, no bloodline there. They, they are part of yeah. totally new, uh, sort of new uh, house. History, but, yeah. but still, they are part of that history and they are still uh, Britain, the British feel. Uh, even the Republican, they are part of their lives, for better or worse. And uh, one other thing, she's got some records still to follow. She is not here with, there with uh, Rama the Ninth, Bumi Ball of Thailand. He's got seven years of her. She's uh, seriously more than her. More than her, wow. yes. She's older by one year, <laughs> but, but he but came to rain, power. He's he in reign seven was years old. And okay. then again, Louis the Fourteenth, the Sun King. We are talking 72 years there. So still, she's got something to go to. And I do not believe it. Well, if it's up to the British, right. Prince Charles will never be king. <laughs> <laughs> they'll, they'll jump a generation. But looking at their Jonathan? health, they're looking Jonathan? at you're looking at their health. I mean, they'll be there forever. <laughs> exactly. Jonathan, just really quickly tell me, do you think There's Prince no Charles... The, the line of succession goes how it goes. So if Prince Charles is still alive and the Queen does pass away, he will become king. And it's worth mentioning also that she's a woman, something that we haven't discussed much here. She may not have been chosen by merit, but her position as the head of state for so long as a powerful woman has in some peculiar way
why inspired generations of women within the country to see that a woman can hold together the entire country in this way. No, very much so. And I want to tell you that I'm wearing pink today because I'm inspired by her. <laughs> um, sadly, we have very, very, very little time left. So we've got like a minute for the web review. 